Moto E for 99 bucks? Yep. Click the first link in the description to find out more information about this product. Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you a cool OSX Yosemite feature. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the iOS device needs to be running iOS 8.0 or later. You can go, uh, you can check it by going to settings, general, and then about, and you should be able to figure out whether it's running iOS 8 or not. This is a Yosemite feature, so your Mac needs to run OS X Yosemite. If you don't have OS X Yosemite, check App Store, see if your Mac is compatible, and update your Mac. Now plug in your iDevice to your Mac using a USB cable. Pretty simple. Now open up QuickTime. You can use the Spotlight search or just go through Launcher and open up QuickTime Player. Now click File and then New Movie Recording. And then your iOS device should show up there. Your screen should show up actually. And if it doesn't show up, it's probably uh, sleeping, so just press on the power button and you should be able to see it. Under microphone option, you see you will see your iDevice. That will record your iOS audio. That means if you're playing a game, you will record the game sound. And you can uh, use your built-in microphone so you can do a voiceover all of your iOS device, which is pretty cool. You can record in landscape mode as well. So let me open up impossible game and show you. So let's see, there's impossible game and that's a uh, landscape game. So it will automatically uh, switch sides and that's how that works. So right now I'm just previewing my iPod screen. So if you wanna record your iPod screen, it's pretty simple. Uh, just hover over your mouse and you should see the red button and just click on it and it will start recording. So let me show you what you should do after you're done with recording. Just click the stop button and to save it I usually, you can just close it and it will prompt you but I click file export 720p and then name it whatever you desire and then click save and then save. And that should take less than three seconds to render that and you can just play back your video and then put it on Final Cut Pro X or iMovie, whatever you desire. Now this is what the final result might look like. As you guys can see, you can hear the audio and everything is working like it's supposed to. Here's another game that has 16 by 9 ratio. So as you guys can see, it fills up the full screen. Hey YouTube, currently I'm actually using the MacBook Pro microphone. So I'm recording the iPod screen and using the MacBook Pro microphone. So yeah, that's how it sounds, I guess. And you could make the preview window full screen. There is a noticeable amount of lag between the iOS screen and QuickTime, which is kind of disappointing. So uh, if you wanted to use it for live uh, previewing or something like that that's going to be challenging anyway guys thank you for watching on my next video I'm going to be making a video about OBS for Mac uh, if you're interested about this be sure to subscribe peace out